Good morning, everybody. Today is the 4th of January, 2019. It's about 2.15 p.m. And I just want to do a little talk on medical preps um, and a few things like that today. Um, one of the biggest things is, is probably CPR. Um, a lot of people are like, what do you do? Uh, Hands-only CPR is out there. Do you feel comfortable with that? Um, or how do I protect myself if I want to do CPR? And a few things that um, are out there on the market is one, a CPR pocket mask. Uh, now I'm going to forewarn you, I have upgraded this one that's mine. One that comes in a hard case, okay? It has a single pocket mask, okay? With the capability of a one way valve, okay? It also has a strap that you can put around the person's head to keep it in place, okay? Has an oxygen port right here. Um, so you could hook this up to oxygen. So when you're breathing into them, instead of them uh, getting 16% oxygen, which would be coming out of your lungs into their lungs, they would be getting a much higher concentration, almost 100% of oxygen, uh, if you had that available. So this is a pocket mask. The way you use it um, is you would actually seal this, cover their, their nose and their mouth. The point, of course, is their nose. This would be the, the lower part of their jaw uh, area. So you would go like this, it's called the CE method, if you're by yourself. Um, what I'll have to do is I'll maybe do a video on how to do CPR sometime. If I can figure out how to do it since I don't have a way to uh, video why I'm doing it. But maybe I can figure out a technique that I can show you how to do uh, a pocket mask on, on a mannequin. Um, so this is a pocket mask, okay? What I've done with mine, I've also added a pediatric mask, okay? The one way valve does fit over it, okay? What I've done for mine is I've added a second one way valve. So I carry two one way valves. So if I need to uh, switch out providers, I can do that. Uh, that would give them a one-way valve. There's the uh, neck strap if you prefer to use it. I also keep gloves in mine. Uh, these are not the best, but they will work. Okay, non-latex gloves. Um, I keep two sets of gloves in there, and then of course I have extra gloves. Um, in baggies because uh, when I teach is how a lot of my gloves come okay if I have extra gloves if I would need them uh, but that's what's in the pocket mask uh, another thing out there is called the keychain barrier device okay it looks something like this okay um, but when you open it what you get is a valve like this okay and the way these work is this would sit in the patient's mouth okay this is the one-way valve so if they were to throw up it would stop here it wouldn't come past here and then this sits on um, on their face you don't have to do anything but seal their nose you don't have to worry about getting a perfect fit with the mask um, because this is only a barrier device Yes, you can see it, uh, but you're not going to come in skin contact. That's just another version of it. Um, another one out there is this one here. A little different, um, but the same concept, okay? Whatever works for you is what you got to realize. Um, this one I don't carry myself uh, because it's a little bigger, okay? They all normally have instructions on them. Okay, so this would sit um, like, like this, so you can read it. It says this side up, you would breathe in here, here's the one-way valve. Um, it's 
so you're not going to come in contact with it. It's not real fancy, but it does uh, work if need be. Um, these are just a little bit of ways to protect yourself. These keychain ones uh, also do have gloves in them. Uh, so this is, is um, what it looks like. Okay, When you pull it out, it comes in a nice little pouch. What I like about these is there's a keychain ring. Uh, so you can put this with your car keys. And then in here is a better set of gloves in the one way valve. All together, nice and neat. Um, what I have done with mine, since I have it open and got rid of some of the trash, the, the plastic and cardboard that comes in these is uh, inside here, what I've added to it is of course it's if this is a generic one but uh some of the stuff that i've added to it is one the uh multi-purpose survival card okay not sure how good of a quality it is but hey it's better than nothing hopefully it would work if you needed to with the uh wood tools are on it okay a P38, and I think it's a P58, the bigger one, can openers I carry. Two alcohol preps, okay. Um, one I can use them to wipe my hands, or uh, as long as I would have a lighter, I could uh, maybe light this and start a fire if I needed to in a survival situation. A very small pocket knife. Uh, it may not work for anything. My biggest thing is if I needed it and I don't have some type of a knife, hopefully I can cut a seatbelt um, or whatever I needed to do. Uh, maybe self-defense. Want to be, of course, the best knife to use for self-defense, but something is better than nothing. And I keep all that stuffed in this little pouch along with a pair of gloves, the uh, barrier device, and sometimes I'll carry a very small... And I don't know if it's on the table here or not. Because I'm a messy Marvin sometimes with this stuff. I have a real small flashlight that I can sometimes stuff in here. Um, but I have it so that way um, I have access to different things. So um, This is more on just uh, CPR barrier devices and how to use them. And uh, just different options. A lot of you have probably never seen... The pediatric style uh, mask. Uh, my rule is if this is an adult and I don't feel comfortable um, using it, doing mouth to mouth, mouth to mask on an adult, I'll do compression only CPR. That is also accept, uh, is acceptable to be doing that. If this is a child or an infant and they're in cardiac arrest, and I don't have a barrier device, you know, I don't have one of these, or don't feel, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't personally have an issue doing mouth-to-mouth -mouth on a child in an emergency situation. Um, because, you know, the, there's a chance I could save that child too. Remember, uh, the number one cause of cardiac arrest in children is normally respiratory first. So we know they need air. Um, where an adult we know the last thing to go or one of the last things to go is, is their their breathing so we know they need compressions first where uh, asphyxiation with children or an adult that was asphyxiated they're going to need the oxygen first that's what we got to focus on so hopefully this explains it a little bit um down the line i'll try to do some more videos on first aid, but I wanted to bring this up. Uh, hopefully this helps you a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, and if not, and this is Rescue Boss, I'll be signing out. I maybe try to do a couple more videos today. We'll see how it goes. Have a great day. Take care. Talk to you later.